All right, guys, so under full load, um, running the air conditioner, pulling 15, 1600 odd watts, and getting pretty ramped up with the solar, getting a bit of sun. It's been out for a while now, which is good. I want to talk about temperatures and stuff. So that'd be like 30 odd degrees, yeah. Move over to that one. There we go. Now that one's not running, so it'll give you a stagnant temperature of what it is. 22 degrees. That one's running. So there's nothing going into that. Nothing into this. That's the smaller array on the roof. That's the larger array, and that's not even active. That's the vehicle DC charger. I'm going to show you some temperatures here after running for um, well, two hours now. We've been running this system for. And so we, oh no, we'll get get a reference point from say the cupboard work. So 20. I don't know. Go here on the floor. 20 degrees. All right. So it's 20 degrees in here at the moment. I want to show you the temperatures, what we're getting. So we'll go for that one. You can see the two red dots. 22. Move to the next one. That's one of the solar controllers for the roof. This is the one that's really ramped up. So you know, you're only at 34 degrees. 34, yeah. Can't move it around. 34. And then this one will be like 20. Yeah, that's, uh, that one there is the DC charger. That's the larger solar array on the roof. That's the smaller solar array on the roof, and that's the side Anderson input there. We'll go over the multi, I'm trying to keep this the same. Oop, get the sun out of the way, guys. Okay. Now, two hours of running under here been running this air conditioner on heat so it's a pretty decent load on it and that's what you get even even like terminal temperatures and fuse different this one will be warming up oh what do we get on the cable there so oh, so we've got solar 20 it's not in use main 12 volts in use solar 30 is in use that one is the DC charger that's not in use and there we go, solar 50. So that's the warmest one, 24 degrees at the solar 50 fuse, right, on six BS cable, uh, you know, less than a meter away. Back over them again. And there's a shunt, that the returning current. And then you've got the fuses the better yeah that, that's beautiful and you know, even you can feel this one's warmer you know we, we vent them rearwards and you know try and get that convection there but you can feel this one's warmer out of all of them but you saw the temperatures guys beautiful look at that absolutely spot on when you do the thick cables and you do it to spec you don't get any issues with any thermal losses, especially when you hydraulically crimp your lugs. You don't get any issues with resistance, with any build up there. It's absolutely perfect. Very, very happy. Even through here. Hot air coming out of there. Beautiful. Shoot around uh, these ones. Let's go. That shouldn't do anything, yep. Let's see if you can see that. That one will be doing something. Yeah, so it's pulling some air out, beautiful. That one, a little bit. That one will be doing nothing. Cool. Should get this out a little bit more often for you guys. There you have it. What have we got? Pumping. Oh yeah, it's pumping out some warm air. <laughs> yeah. All off grid guys, all from batteries. It's coming straight out of the uh, Harrier. I reckon it's cycled now. 25. Uh, it's cycling down. It's definitely cycling down because that was the 1400 watt. Let's see if we can get it to, the, to temperature in here. It's bloody warm in here, eh? Cool. Good power coming in now. Got a little bit of sunshine outside. 
which is happy. Still in and out, some clouds hanging around. But even now with this load on it and with the solar, we're only pulling 20 or 30 amps. You know, we've got 660 here. Uh, so we're using 450 watts, if you want to work in watt hours. We're pulling 500 watts. Um, you know, I've got eight kilowatt hours here. I'm running that AC on flat out with heat. It's, it's not gonna happen in the real world, you don't do it. Just doing it here for testing purposes only, guys. Cool.